Welcome to our video on how the Saudi king travels with 500 limos, 506 tons of luggage. Saudi Arabia's King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud is known for his luxurious travel style with extravagant demands and opulent accommodations wherever he goes. In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of his most memorable trips and explore the jaw-dropping logistics behind his massive entourage and mind. Boggling amounts of luggage. The Royal Guard. If you have a personal wealth of over 25 billion and are one of the richest people in the world, it should come as no surprise that your security is of the utmost importance. This is undoubtedly the case with Saudi Arabia's King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, whose security detail is in charge of $2 trillion. The king's protection is the Saudi Arabian Royal Guard's responsibility, and they don't skimp on their duty to protect the royal family. The Royal Guard is an elite unit that is well-trained and furnished with cutting-edge tools and technology. They are divided up into various organizations, each with a distinct set of responsibilities, such as the Royal Guards Brigade, Special Security Forces, and the Royal Saudi Air Force VEP unit. These responsibilities include guarding the Royal Palace, providing security for formal gatherings, and guaranteeing the safety of the King and other Royal family members while they are on the go. Making sure the king is safe wherever he goes is one of the special forces' most crucial responsibilities. This entails meticulous route planning, working with regional authorities, and making sure that every area the king enters is scrubbed clean and guarded. On average, 100 guys depart two weeks in advance to make sure accommodations are prepared and secure enough. If the king hasn't already reserved the entire hotel, they set up metal detectors, scan bags, and double-check each and every guest. The king and his family's protection is unquestionably ensured by these special forces. We must not, however, overlook the figurative heavy lifting performed by the king's fleet of opulent private aircraft. They are in charge of providing the king and his family with comfortable and stylish transportation to their trip. For the king and his family's security, no expense is spared. The Flying Palace King Salman travels in style in a heavily customized Boeing 747, 400 popularly referred to as the Flying Palace. The airplane features a magnificent interior with priceless decorations and opulent comforts, as well as modern defensive and opulent comforts as well as modern defensive capability. This aircraft's standard model costs about $400 million, but after all the improvements, it might easily fetch $500 to $600 million. Boeing has provided the King with an airplane that is strongly fortified and can resist a direct hit from ballistic missiles and gunfire of any caliber because the Monarch plainly places a high value on his security. The aircraft also has extra fuel tanks to travel far distances without refueling, electronic countermeasures that can interfere with possible threats guidance systems, and other safety features. Although the Flying Palace's offensive capabilities are yet unknown, there are rumors that it is armed with laser-guided missiles. The sumptuous cabin of the aircraft, which was created to make the Saudi king as comfortable as possible, is certain though. The aircraft can typically carry 660 passengers, but this particular one has been specially tailored to offer King Salman with an opulent way of transportation. The Flying Palace's interior is totally covered in gold plating and has luxurious leather seating, a conference room, a prayer room, and a hospital with the newest medical technology. The aircraft also has a cinema, a gym, and a king-size bed in the master bedroom. Naturally, such opulence comes at a great cost, which the king gladly pays because taking a trip in such exquisite manner is worth more than the 25 million yearly maintenance of this aeronautical marvel. King Salman certainly understands how to make a dramatic entrance, both on the ground and in the air. The Ground Transportation King Salman doesn't skimp on luxury or safety when it comes to ground transportation. A fleet of protected, ultra-luxurious limos and subs are typically stationed all around him. He favors the Mercedes. Benz S600 Pullman Guard at home, a remarkably opulent limousine that costs about $1.6 million. Its estimated value, however, is higher than $3.5 million because of its armored plating, bulletproof glass, and other defensive and offensive capabilities. The King, however, uses more than one vehicle. In fact, in addition to the specially made Bentley State Limousine, he owns at least four other presidential class limos. This Bentley Arnage has a longer wheelbase, a plush cabin, and cutting edge security measures. Although it is marketed at about $250,000, it is expected to cost closer to $200,000 with all the adjustments. 
The King also drives a very expensive armored Cadillac Escalade SUV that is renowned for its plush interior and opulent amenities. The King spent close to 500,000 bucks on this car. Another extravagant item in his collection is the Maybach 62, which he purchased for almost $1 million. It has conveniences like leather furniture and top-notch sound systems. The Rolls, Royce Phantom, a statement vehicle with extravagant ornamentation and an all-gold finish, is the King's preferred vehicle, with a top-notch entertainment system and a price tag of more than $2 million. It is more than simply a limousine. The Saudi ruler certainly understands how to draw attention and travel in the utmost comfort. Tokyo Visit King Salman went above during his 2017 visit to Tokyo to ensure that he and his entourage had the most luxurious experience possible. The king sent out an order for a fleet of 500 extremely opulent limousines to ferry over 1,000 individuals throughout the city. He also reserved almost 1,200 rooms at some of Tokyo's most luxury hotels, including the full Imperial Hotel Tokyo and the Ritz-Carlton, to accommodate his visitors. Although the actual cost of this extravagant event is unknown, it is believed that King Salman spent over $5 million to ensure that his high expectations were realized. Specially made furnishings, pieces of art, and even a prayer chamber created to the king's requirements were included in the lodgings. However, this Tokyo visit pales in comparison to King Salman's even more extravagant and scandalous stay in France in 2018. France Visit King Salman is renowned for his opulent excursions, and his 2018 trip to France was no exception. The monarch reserved the entire Four Seasons Hotel George V, a lavish hotel situated in the Golden Triangle of the city, for his stay in Paris. To accommodate the high-profile guest, the hotel had to cancel all other reservations, make significant interior changes, such as turning the king's room into a totally golden space, and lay red carpets around the property. In order to assure his comfort, the king also closed off congested downtown Paris streets, allowing his 600-car procession to arrive at the hotel without any delays. With almost 600 specially customized cars, including limousines, SUVs, and motorcycles, the procession was one of the biggest and most impressive ever seen in the city. During his stay in Paris, the monarch also had dinner at the Louvre, which was converted into a restaurant especially for the event. Gourmet French food was served at the event, which had over 150 high-profile visitors. However, King Salman's trip to France was neither his first or most contentious one. In 2015, he invaded a small French town in the Côte d'Azur with 2,000 of his closest relatives. He also attempted to block off a whole beach for himself, which infuriated more than 100,000 residents. Additionally, he hired someone to build an unlicensed private elevator from his villa to the beach. Despite his controversial actions, the Saudi king's visits to France were undoubtedly extravagant, and he spared no expense to ensure his comfort and the comfort of his entourage. The exact cost of the visits is unknown, but it is clear that King Salman knows how to travel in style. Visit to Russia King Salman is renowned for his expensive and opulent traveling habits, and his 2017 visit to Russia was no exception. Along with personal chefs, security guards, and his own ultra, luxurious furnishings, carpets, and decorations, he brought more than 1,500 individuals in his entourage. He even moved Russian millionaires and oligarchs who typically live there by carrying 2,000 pounds of Novichok, free food and beverages, and booking two of Moscow's most opulent hotels. The projected cost of this opulent stay was $3 million a night. But in 2017, he definitely spent the most money traveling to Indonesia. With an enormous entourage of more than 1,500 people, 11 ultra, luxurious private jets for the guests, and over 36 flights for the staff, he arrived. He reportedly carried 506 tons of belongings, including furniture, luxury cars, and personal effects. He stayed in a specially built temporary palace with air-conditioned tents and a helipad for the duration of the nine-day visit. King Salman's usage of a golden escalator to leave his jet, which was allegedly valued over $80,000, was one of the most remarkable features of his visit to Indonesia. Additionally, he made certain costly demands of the Indonesian government, such as building a V-private restroom inside a mosque created especially for him. Without a doubt, King Salman understands how to travel in style, despite his controversial actions. He most likely borrowed a page from Mansa Musa, the lavish medieval Muslim king who traveled in opulence and splendor. 
And that's a wrap on our video exploring how the Saudi king travels with 500 limos. 500 limos, 506 tons of luggage. From France to Russia to Indonesia, King Salman's travel demands have sparked controversy and captured headlines around the world. Whether you're impressed by his extravagant lifestyle or outraged by his disregard for local customs and traditions, there's no denying that this is one king who knows how to travel in style. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.